thinking about being Muslim. Okay. Well, you have to understand what Islam means. Islam just means submission to the Almighty Creator. A Muslim means a person who chooses to submit their will to that Almighty Creator. So as Muslims, we have a very simple belief. Hello guys, you're welcome back. Hope you guys are doing great. My name is Bukome Pikekra. So we're going to be checking out this video titled Muslim man invites his Christian wife to Islam. Let's check it out. You guys over? Uh, we just had a couple of questions. We're like, into Islam. We just had a couple of questions. Okay, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Be, what do you guys think about uh, mediums? Like, mediums, yeah. okay. Um, okay, so people like who practice uh, magic and communicate with spirits and stuff like that. So we believe that there is such thing as magic, right? But the, what's happening, right, is when you are performing magic and you're communicating with these spirits, what we call jinns, right? So you have to understand who these spirits are. A lot of people, especially in LA, they practice magic, different types of magic. Obviously, there's different types of magic from different places. Like, let's say if you're Latin American, there's Santeria, there's all different types of uh, magic that you can perform, right? So when it comes to magic and communicating with the spirits, you have to understand first who the spirits are, right? So the spirits were on earth before us. They were created before us, right? But we were created after them, and we were created we were created more superior than them. We were given supremacy over them, right? And because of that, a lot of them are jealous of us. So a lot of times when we're communicating with them, right, you have to understand, it's like you're communicating with your worst enemy. They're going to pretend to be your friend. Mm. Let me ask you a question. Let's say if your worst enemy were, were to give you a million dollars, would you take it? Yeah. No, right? Because he's going to get a lot more from you than you're going to get from them, right? So that's what we believe is the relationship between the human and the jinn. It could be, in the beginning, it always goes well. It always goes well in the beginning. But when the jinn wants something back from you, that's when everything gets chaotic. Especially if you don't even know what you're dealing with. Because obviously there's a lot of different types of spirits. There's male spirits, there's female spirits, there's, there's different types of spirits as well. You know what I'm saying? So Islam actually gives you the correct uh, uh, description of the spiritual world. And it gives you uh, 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 insight into the unseen world that no one else is aware of. So I'd love to offer you a Quran, my dear sister. It's a gift from me to you. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Prayer times, are you guys like, what's the like, time limit almost for you guys to pray? Like, as soon as. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you're saying like there's prayer times. So yeah. our prayer times is based on what's around us, right? So like for instance, the sun, right? Um, we, we are, a lot of our prayer times is based on the sun. For instance, obviously there's a prayer before sunrise. There's a prayer right when the sun is directly above your head, right? Then when it's, uh, what do you call it, like 45 degrees, right? Then that's the next prayer. The next prayer is after uh, uh, sunset, right? And then there's another prayer that's uh, two hours after sunset, right? So the way is you just have in between those hours to worship and do your prayer. Oh, so they can be like, actually, like right after or like right before that? Yeah, like let's say, let's say the first prayer, right? Um, the first prayer of the day, you could pay, pray between 12 and 5. So between that time, if you have like two, three minutes, just worship and then you're done. So it's actually very, very easy, my dear sister. Cool. I also had another question. Yes. Uh, do all women have to wear the hat? No, 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 no. This is just something I, I wear. Just so people know that I'm a Muslim. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes the guy is not your Muslim. Sorry, one more question. For the hijab, I've seen people wear it, but then I see like them like showing this part of the hair. Is that like... It, so everyone has a different journey with the Creator, right? Obviously the Creator has instructed us to be modest in our dress, right? So obviously you could be a judge if you are being modest or if you're trying to attract the other sex's attention. You understand with the way you're dressing as well. So obviously if you're genuine and you're honest with yourself, you'll be able to notice right away what you're doing. But what Allah has informed um, uh, the believers is to be dressing modestly. Yeah, 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 yeah no problem. No problem, no problem. So what made you guys uh, in, in, be intrigued about Islam? Like what caught your attention about Islam? The fact that you guys believe that Jesus is not the... Creator. Not, yeah, creator is the prophet. Yes. So I really stuck with that. That stuck with me. The, what is it? The... Fitra? Fitra. Ooh, okay. You've been watching videos, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So that really stuck with me. That's beautiful, my sister. Um, so yeah, you know, so it looks like what's called is a fitra, which is your natural inclination. We believe that the human being's soul already knows the truth. Now, you're, we're just waiting for your body to align with your soul, so then you could finally find peace. Until you give your soul what it craves, which is Islam, which is the Quran, and which is the words of Allah and the knowledge of Allah, that is when your soul is going to be at rest. But until then, you will never have peace in your life, until you give your soul what it craves. Hmm. 
Cool. How do you, wow. where are your, like, typical, like, memorizing it? Because I know you, you've got a memorizing there. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's, it, you don't have to, right? Uh, obviously, um, I, I would just say just repetition. Literally just repetition. Like, I have friends that they memorize the whole Quran in eight months. There's even, like, there's four or five-year-old kids that memorize the whole Quran. So if they could do it, you could do it. You know what I mean? But that's not, that burden is not upon you. You don't have to memorize the whole book or anything like that. No, no, no. This is just what some of us do in order to preserve the scripture. That's why the Quran has not been changed since the time it was revealed. Because there's hundreds of millions of Muslims that have memorized the book. If we threw all the Qurans in the ocean, we could rewrite another one instantly. You understand? Because it's all in our hearts and our minds. Cool? I'd love to offer you another uh, gift. A brief illustrated guide to understanding Islam. Right? I can with you. It's okay, it's okay. I have plenty of them. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm positive. And I'd love to guys offer you a prayer mats as well from the Holy City. What color would you guys like? Actually, these are my final two that I have. Oh, you already have one, huh? Yeah, I have one. Okay, good for you. I see you. I see you. That's beautiful. Um, and here's a prayer manual that teaches you how to worship. Would you want one as well, my dear sister? Beautiful, beautiful. Is there any other questions that you have, my dear sister? I think that was... I probably do have more, but they're not coming. Okay, no problem, no problem. Thank well, everything, uh, all the resources are right there in your hand. So I wish you the best, okay? You have a good rest take care, day. take Thank care. So God bless you guys. Who brought oh, you over? Me? Yeah. I'm Muslim, I just come here standing. And... Oh, you just wanted to listen. Okay, yeah, beautiful, yeah, yeah. brother. Well, mashallah, I, I appreciate you. you. On Instagram. Okay, yeah, mashallah. How you doing, my dear sister? Good. Good, how are you? Good, good, good. I'd love to offer you guys some gifts. Oh, Everything yeah? is all 100% free. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny because people are used to people paying for things. The fact that I'm handing things out for free, it, it like boggles their mind. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. I mean, as a Muslim, you know that uh, Islam teaches us to be very generous with the people, you know? Sure. So this is just a part of the teachings of Islam. I would love to offer you a free gift, my dear brother. Would you yeah. like a free Quran, my dear brother? For sure. Okay, I'll beautiful. It's sure. a gift for me. Yeah, I would love to give you so one much. as well, my dear sister. Would you like one as well? Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Thank you so much. No problem, my brother. Do you guys have any questions about Islam whatsoever? Maybe her. You have any questions about Islam, my dear sister? If you if you would like, I can share with you what Islam is or what the message of Islam is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have too many questions. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Well, I have answers, my dear sister. Yeah. Well, what's the first question that comes to your mind? Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to collect all of them and uh, just thinking about being Muslim. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to understand. What Islam means? Islam just means submission to the Almighty Creator. A Muslim means a person who chooses to submit their will to that Almighty Creator. So as Muslims, we have a very simple belief that there's only one Creator. And only that Creator is worthy of worship. I can share with you what uh, what uh, the Muslims believe is a description of the Almighty Creator. If you want, you could go ahead and open up the book, page 374, chapter 112, right? And I'll explain to you exactly who the Almighty Creator is, right? So it's page 374. Chapter 112. Okay? So uh, what I'll do is I'll recite the original words in Arabic and I'll translate it for you in English. Okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Kul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ahad It says, in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, that He is Allah, one and indivisible. So as Muslims, we believe God is absolutely one and He cannot be divided into parts. So as Muslims, we reject the idea of the Trinity because we believe in pure absolute monotheism right Allah the sustainer needed by all meaning everyone and everything needs Allah but Allah does not need anyone or anything he has never had offspring so as Muslims we do not believe we are the children of God we believe we are the children of Adam and Eve and nor was Almighty God born so as Muslims we reject the idea of Jesus being God because we do not believe God is a weak God we believe he's a powerful God and he's not born from a human being and he is not like us as well God does not eat he does not sleep he does not need rest, nor does God pray, right? Well, that's what makes him different than us, right? And there's none comparable to him. So this is what we believe is the identity of Almighty God. Is there any questions that you have on top of your head? How you doing? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. How you doing? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Judy. Judy, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'd love to offer you a gift. Uh, you you uh, read English or no? No. No? Okay, okay. No worries. No worries. No worries. No worries. Yeah, is there any questions about what I shared with you right now? Uh, yeah, not right now, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and look around. Okay, and, beautiful. Uh, just collect some.
You know, so another book I'll, I'll love to offer you is a brief illustrated guide to understanding Islam. So this will help you understand it very clearly. I'll love to offer you a prayer mat as well. What color would you like, my dear sisters? All 100% free. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't be shy. Yes. Absolutely. And this is a prayer manual that teaches you how to worship the Most High. Okay? So I'll just show you what this is, right? So this is a travel bag, and then inside is a prayer mat. You understand? Yeah, it's very beautiful. Would you like one as well, my dear sister? Oh, no problem, no problem. We have a lot in common. As Muslims and Christians, we have a lot in common. We have a lot in common, my dear sister. As Muslims, we believe in Jesus. We believe Jesus is the Messiah, sent by God. We believe in Moses, Abraham. We believe in all the prophets, my dear sister. Yeah. So this is a gift from me to you, my dear sister, right? So uh, inside I put a prayer, ma uh, prayer manual that teaches you how to worship the Most High, okay? So this is all a gift from me to you. Please all ask, just pray for me in return, okay? Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one, okay? Take care. Take care. Hi there. Wow, that was beautiful explanation. I love the first couple, the way they came to ask some questions that even me, I don't even know. I've not even come across it. I've forgotten the name. Is it Jia or something like that? She asked a question when the man was like, Oh, do you have any questions to ask about Islam? The question she asked, well, I was like, Ooh, nice one. That was beautiful. One thing I love about this man's um, video is the fact that he's so generous. He the free gifts he gives out just imagine how he gave you know free mat praying mat quran and the other man came with his with his woman and she was so curious to know more about islam even though she has a lot of questions in her mind to ask but she could not even you know when you have a lot to ask but at the same time you don't even know where to start from so you just ask one or two and the man was able to explain everything she needs to know about Islam. This is a very beautiful video. I really enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.